Throughout the history of the game, there have been many impactful changes that have been imposed by big teams. There's the incoming of Rat Dodo, as we're all familiar by. Instantly, nature's property. This profit is incredible late game. It's very hard to play against. Play game. Which alliance, by the way, highlighted. Then there's epic plays like the six million dollar slam that evil geniuses put on display. D, here comes the ice And there's these other one minute Roshan plays. <laughs> oh shit, boys. However, there's nothing that can top this impactful glitch or play in the game. This is a story on Navi's puppy and Dendi's ultimate skill. Yes, their fountain hook. This is the story on how it revolutionized Dota for a brief moment. Well, many know many things about this story. Some of us don't, and therefore, Crystal's Dota will analyze this particular trait of the game. First, we ask ourselves, what was the fountain hook glitch? What is the fountain hook? Is it a glitch? Then we'll ask, was it a skillful part of the game? And third and lastly, we'll answer, did it actually make Dota more entertaining? Or was it just simply unfair? Part 1. Apparently, many of the Dota world were split on this. Some argued that it required incredible timing and accuracy to make this play work, while others simply said it was a cheat and a glitch. It's not fair. It's not fair. <laughs> Disqualification. Let them try this thing. They can do it. Go on. Try this thing. Now, he says everyone knew about the skill in the game. So why didn't they do it? Why didn't they take advantage of it? The thing that impacted this skill was due to the fact that Na'Vi used it in the TI match. It completely shifted the tides of a specific game and therefore made them win it, win that particular match. At the time, players from Alliance were angry. They were on the lounge and creating a scene, a brawl, yelling at each other from across the room. It really was a spectacle. A lot of people were saying it's very unfair. I was very angry watching the game. It's not really so much against Navi as against the rules. We came into the player lounge and I saw Wada screaming. That's in the game. That was the biggest joke I've ever seen. The biggest joke I've ever seen. There's these rules about bug abuse, but what is bug abuse and what is not. I'm still a bit salty about it, I think. Like, how can you win? How can you even be allowed to win that way? Tungfu had that game. Is that balance? You hook a guy with eggs? In order to do the fountain glitch or fountain hook, first Chen must use holy persuasion skill on a teammate or on a punch. While the skill has a delay during that moment and the exact timing of the player being sent back to the base, Pudge must land a hook. It requires incredible accuracy and timing. However, even though this was a truly an art on display, Valve and the Dota community shifted towards the idea that it was a glitch. Therefore, as soon as this tournament was over, a new patch came out and the fountain hook glitch was no longer available. To this day, many marvel about it and remember the glory days of Na'Vi and how they made Dota truly beautiful to watch. It really was like witnessing something straight out of a Harry Potter movie. Incredible indeed. Part 2. Was it a skillful part of the game? So indeed, it really was skillful because Na'Vi was the only team to use it on such a big stage. No other team dared to attempt to use the hook, the fountain hook. Everybody knew about it, but they didn't do it. You have to respect the skill that it took for those fountain hooks to happen. If it was completely broken and super easy to do, everyone would be doing it. They weren't afraid to try it or make it happen. Also, Dendi was known as the best pudge in the world. And the fact that he used it in such a pivotal moment with all the pressure on the line, it truly shows how good Na'Vi was. Both Puppy and Dendi are legends to this day because of such impacts to Dota. This Fountain Hulk was one of the most impactful parts of Dota. And the last part, did it make it entertaining or was it just unfair? Things now compared to the way they used to be.
be. Unless you are an old man or a fanatic of Dota that loves his team and hates everyone else, you will never find the Fountain Hook to be entertaining. Secures another kill. And Tong Fu is going to continue to push. They're not done. Mech still hasn't even been used. There's a hook! How? Brought all the way back to the base! However, Crystal's Dota personally, I got into Dota because of this specific play. Honestly, I didn't know what Dota was until I saw this play into action. It made me glitter and joy just seeing it happen. Yes, Navi is a bad team at the moment, but the real Dota fans never forget, nor do they take Na'Vi for granted. What Na'Vi did was bring the entire world towards Dota. They were the vacuum sucking everyone in. They made the international one of the biggest tournaments ever. Until next time, this is a story on how Na'Vi's fountain hook revolutionized Dota forever. If you like these kind of stories, make sure you hit that red button, the red subscribe button. And if you like, feel free to check out my other videos.